Sports. At the beginning, all instructors will review our students' paperwork so that we know everybody's on the right track before we even start the day. And then throughout the day, we are watching their assessments. We carefully watch them pass meds. We watch any sort of invasive skills. Throughout the day with their paperwork, we're asking them to update along with their information. And what we do as instructors is each of us takes each scenario that has occurred throughout the day with the patients and bring up teaching moments that we want to make sure all students can learn from. A speech therapist will come very handy to discuss for you if indeed she has bottles of the swelling makeup. Here at the Center for Simulation, we use the term thousand teaching moments to describe the abundance of teaching opportunities that are part of the simulated hospital day. Teaching moments can be planned. Maybe a wrong IV fluid hanging at the bedside or an expired medication in the medication cart. Other teaching moments are spontaneous. Perhaps a student calls a physician to report a change in the patient's status but does not provide relevant information to the physician. These are just a few examples of a thousand teaching moments. Teaching moments can be addressed with individual students or with a group as a whole. The beauty of teaching moments is that clinical instructors can focus on those moments they feel are crucial to the student's development and to their clinical experience. I really know what their weaknesses are, so I have a game plan before I go to the hospital with them so I can sort of work on, okay, you need help with your assessments and I want to help you be more proficient in doing your assessment at the hospital. We have the opportunity to act with different disciplines. It gives them that understanding of how we truly interact in the hospital. Nursing isn't um, a bubble in itself and by able to interact with pharmacy or physical therapy or the lab, it's certainly more realistic. So that way they can understand truly how they need to communicate. Another benefit for the students is to play the patient role. They learn the diagnosis of the patients and how they feel to be a patient. They're also grading the interprofessionals that come to their bedside through the computers that they get. And the computers also provide a script that changes every 30 minutes. This is all gathered for research that we are conducting at the university. We've added diversity to all of our patients in the simulated hospital day. The diversity includes multiple religious beliefs, cultural beliefs. Many different occupations are represented in our patient population, along with a variety of languages, language barriers, and a variety of admitting diagnosis. Everything from an acute MI to a trauma to a pneumonia. We run five beds at one time with five different diagnoses and over 90 medications. We have run this with eight students all the way up to 80 students at one time. A lot of it has to do with how did they handle the situation, how did they appropriately administer this medication. Each of the scenarios have been built in with certain errors that we would like the students to be able to correctly identify when it comes to whether it was a physician order or a medication. And then the instructor again evaluates the work that they've done so that we can make sure they're on the right track. Um.